Cinco de Mayo, on which in 1862 the way outnumbered Mexicans beat the best army in the world, protecting their city Puebla from the colonizers. Giving the resistance a boost back then, today in the name of Connecting the Dots, 350.org and StopCall.ca hosted an event to stop all coal trains for a period of at least 24 hours and to remind people that we all have to become active in a fight for a better world. The, the issue this morning for all of the people who are here is the, um, the coal trains going through, uh, going through coal being transferred out of the ground and being transported elsewhere and as the, as the trains pass through we get all the coal dust. So that is, that is the issue. Well I think when you see all these people that indicates that people are concerned. The decision is that if a train comes uh, that we are going to stop, that we will go down. I'm here to support this uh, group um, in fighting to uh, stop climate change and so the whole symbolism of stopping the coal train is coal is a, a very large contributor to carbon dioxide and global warming. So uh, we're trying to tell people that you know it is possible for citizens to do actions like this on the ground and there is no change without pressure. When you're fighting an issue like, like the Raven Mine it's hard to ignore what else is going on in the world and you realize that everything is all connected. So uh, we're doing a, an event today, 350.org, and people all over the world are standing up and taking pictures of themselves with dots, with their issues. And so we did that here today and we're just part of a whole global movement to try and bring some kind of sanity to the world and you know, stop this crazy race to the bottom. Or 350 parts per million is the, the point where, you know, you're still safe, but once it gets over that, then the global warming goes much quicker. And right now we're around 390. So we're in a lot of trouble, and we're just trying to get people to realize that, you know, we, we don't have to go back to living in caves. Uh, we can live more simple, sustainable lives, but we can't carry on the way that we're carrying on. And the main reason I'm here today is for my grandson because I want him to have a future, a bright future. So um, that's why I'm here, is, is to, to stand up for future generations, for our children and their children, and uh, we just need to make change. And you don't have change without pressure, so we're the pressure. It's in the rich man's dreams, it's in the poor man's hands, it's in the body bags along the Rio Grande. In the evening shade, it's on the zealot's tongue, it's in the widow's tears, and it's in the miner's lungs. Now we could cut and run, take half the blame. Yeah, don't stop now, that's why we came. I've never been arrested, I've never done anything like this before, um, and I have a lot of friends on Vancouver Island who are, some of them in their 80s. Uh, they're using walkers, they're not healthy, and they say that they're going to put their bodies on the line and get arrested to stop this because uh, we have to stand up for our rights in this country and we have to stand up for the planet. And uh, if, if it takes going to jail, then that's what it's going to take.